Leibler playing from left to right in their white away strip up against Scotland. We're underway at the Stade de la Rabine. News it. Well, Scotland received the kickoff cleanly, and Katie Mattinson summons in a few extra blue shirted bodies before chipping it down up and over the blind side up to halfway an early look at Melisson Laurence and she's beaten one two defenders Emily Boulard stretching those long legs and finding touch very nicely indeed the brightest of starts for the French backs yeah certainly I think they're testing out the the high ball with the sun is shining bright up in the, the sky and um, it was taken beautifully and you know the line break the offload um, down to okay, the, the edge of the, the pitch, you know, and that chip through. Katie Madison, did she, was that a, a committed tackle? That we'll soon try and find out. Lorna Skeldon doesn't find her mark, but does find Mattinson. So Scotland under all sorts of pressure, but forcing the knock on. And that'll be a sigh of relief for Helen Nelson, who I think will opt to hoof this long. But Tremulia, the oh Duchess. As she is known, she sends it back and into the arms of Chloe Rolly, the woman who's beaten the most defenders so far in this entire Six Nations. A wonderful, audacious weave from Tremulia. She chases her own, manages to box out McGee, and it's Bourdon who has it now. Wonderful pirouette, steps inside, frees her hand, Escudero is away and clear. Has a woman on the inside, but she doesn't need her. And it is a blistering start from Les Bleus. Charlotte Escudero, her second score for her country in as many weeks. What an opening few minutes. Yeah, you could see what Scotland were trying to do. They were trying to play out, but if you kick loosely, then Jesse Chumoulier is going gonna, is gonna to punish you. No, you don't necessarily expect the little chips over the top. She's normally a bit more length on them, but, you know, to, to regather... And France are really good at the offload game, you know, offload to Bourdon, Bourdon offload to Escudero, and, you know, you don't need to give her any space to, to run into. There are some big sleeves being rolled up down on that try line. Brosso awaits. Oh, it's a pass over the top, the tackle goes in, the ball's loose. Bula chips it on. Bula, did she get that down? She thinks she did. Van thinks she did. But let's hear what the TMO made of it. If anything <clears throat> might have prevented that grounding from standing. That's not a try. She quite clearly got no downward pressure in that, in my opinion. Lauren. Yes? You may stick with your on-field decision. You may award the try. OK, perfect. Thank you. Oh, uh, it, it actually comes back off um, the Scotland player. Corinne Grant. In support, Latchstorm driving her onwards. There is Piku, the Durham University captain. Here now is Kalfoe, brought down by one of Scotland's forwards. Absolutely essential. That tackle was made, and absolutely essential. Bula finished that one. It's half time at the Stade de la Rabine. And France gather for a huddle because although they might be leading on the scoreboard, it's certainly not been one-way traffic in the sunshine here in the northwest of France. They do lead, though, 17 points to nil. Scores from Bourdon, Laurent and Boulard. Scotland yet to open their account, but the signs are promising. Uncle Roberts looks to hold her up there. And France, they have an advantage, a free hit the opportunity to stretch out a fist and bang the big entertainment button and speak of entertainment, Vernier, oh, Gabrielle Vernier. She's had a quiet afternoon so far, but she's made it count there. Emily Boulard with her second of the afternoon, but all masterminded by the world-class Vernier with the cutest offload you will see all week. Yeah, I didn't think uh, France were going to exploit this. They were they were carrying hard through the middle, and I thought they were going to keep going their forwards. But here, Vernier, when you think she's going to carry that just offload out the back door, you know. But now France looking to counter through Bartomeu. And now Laurence with only Mattinson to beat Elmay's on the inside, but she doesn't need her. 
It's going to be an absolutely remarkable score. And it is Kyle Arme. The woman on the other side of the scrum, Kalfoui, Chimulia, show and go. Malcolm's not fooled. The Loughborough Lightning skipper and the Scotland captain reads that really well, brings down the halfback. Now Bourdon, Vernier, direct line beneath the post. Try awarded. Gabrielle Vernier, irresistibly world class. Bags herself a try, and the Stade de la Rabine erupts. With an impressive opening carry for her afternoon, it's whipped out by Socha. Scrum half-esque from the hooker, and now Vernier making mischief. Bula, Bouja, the flood gates have opened. Bula has her hat-trick. A side whose losing streak looks set to extend out to 12. France will have defended their record at home against the Scots, a record which stretches back to 2003. That kick from Nelson. Gathered by Jamulia, it's the bounce of the ball that sits up for her and right before the post now, France will go again, Piku. Thompson does enough to stall her. And now Chambon finds Vernier, kicks it over the top. Here is Marine Menager, gathers, pull back inside. Fights her sister. Sisters getting it done for themselves in Van. That's 48 points for France. A hammer blow from some six nations heavyweights. Yeah, it's just a great vision by Vernier there to see the space out on the wing, but instead of using the uh, the pass to do it, she's used a kick to get across the space. And when things are going well for you, you get the, the bounce of the ball in that. Benavez fizzes it out to Philippe. Marine Menager on the wing, steps in, steps out, looks for the offload. Philippe has it now. That first phase, phase move is stalled. Piku is next to add some grist to the mill, and Rufono, who is electric, ball in hand. Escudero, denied in the opening five minutes, still hungry. Moyembe, a metre out now. France, relentless, continuing to pile on the pressure. Annery has it, driven backwards. But now France, driving forwards. Greedy. Hungry for more scores before the fans here at the Stade de la Rabine. Advantage. Rufono. Thank you. Sparkling footwork. Philippon waits on the wing. Arbez. Vernier over the top. And that will be that. French flair. French firepower. Jouer, jouer, any way you like it. They have another. Oh, Bez, Vernier, Romain Menager. Oh, couldn't quite free her hands. Scotland forced the knock on. The ball's turned over. McMillan up to the cusp of the 22. Brian Eason's women will not die wondering. Donaldson has another go. Back it goes. They'll have to run it. They won't risk kicking this one away. Thompson. Leaning on all of that sevens fitness now. Gallagher. Time's up. Ball spilt. Ball turned over. Piku has it. France will have the final say. Who will have it? Annery. Again. Held up, shunted backwards, time is up, and more, France no victorious in van, a resounding bonus point victory over a plucky Scottish outfit. They will march towards Twickenham.
Wales await, of course, we cannot overlook that one, but that was a statement of intent from Les Bleus. Back before home fans for the first time since September and absolutely loving it. It finishes in van. France 55, Scotland 0.